Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to discuss property three of determinant. Okay, and our statement is that property pro properties three statement says that if two rows or columns of a determinant are identical mean same. Okay, then is value that that is value mean the determinant. Okay, that the determinant value will be zero. It says. Okay. Let delta is equal to let's say a one, a two, a three, b one, b two, b three, and since our statement says that if two rows or column of a determinant are identical, then I mean, let's take this first column and third column to be identical. Okay, first let's take this to be identical. This is a three, which means first column, third column are same thing, and you can take in the row also. Okay, no harm. And this is our determinant. <coughs> now, let me take delta one, be the new determinant. Okay, determinant obtained by Changing first column and third column. Okay. Let's say delta one be the new determinant obtained from this one by interchanging first column and third column. Here, since first column and the third column are identical, that means if you interchange also, it, it will be the same thing. That means from this, we can say that delta 1 is delta, isn't it? Let's say question 1. And from property 2 that I have proof in the previous, that if, and property 2 says that if the if two columns or two rows of a determinant are changed, okay, they mean the sign should be changed, okay. So delta one is got since in here, and delta one we change, delta one we change the first and third column, okay. So the sign will be changing. So from this two we can say delta is got to minus delta. They mean two delta is got to zero. I mean delta is zero. So this delta is our original determinant. So they mean this determinant is nothing but zero. It is equal to zero. So let's conclude hence. If two rows or column of a determinant are identical then each value that means its determinant value is just zero here we prove here so this is our proof <coughs>